Magandang buhay mga kasama! How's everyone? Sana okay ang lahat. Kamusta ka partner? I'm doing great, thankfully partner. So for today, we are going to open a new topic. Yes, and I'm sure may enjoy ito ng lahat. Especially, it is connected sa more discoveries, inventions, and the likes. But before we do that, let's introduce ourselves muna, partner. Okay, so sino mo una? Ikaw muna. Okay, I am Mary Jo Panganiban, your BS Psychology student. And I am Melanie Rose Fowler, your BS Psychology student as well. And uh, like what we said earlier, the topic that we will be having today is about Mesoamerica. So, some of us may be familiar na sa mga scientific invention during that time. Pero alam ko na marami din sa mga viewers natin ngayon ay medyo wala pang alam about Mesoamerica. That's right! Kaya to our lovely viewers, Comment down below kung ano ang mga alam niyong invention about Mesoamerica. Yan, magtitingin tayo sa comment section natin ngayon. Dress, dress then codex. Tama. Ano so true po? Saan ang galing so true po? Stone houses. Um, I think partner merong stone houses sa Mesoamerica. We will know more about that later. Calendar, yes. Calendar connected po yan. Calendars connected po yan sa Mesoamerica. Kano. Mm, we'll find it out later kung connected ba siya sa Mesoamerica. Yan, mag-comment pa po tayo. Corn! Yes, corn. Malaking impact po ang nagawa ng corn sa Mesoamerica. Alam ko, partner, parang may term sila dun sa corn. Yes, at mamaya malalaman natin kung anong term yon. Rubber ball games, tama. Mag-comment pa po kayo kung ano pang nalalaman nyo tungkol sa Mesoamerica. Plus points daw po sa STS kapag nag-comment. So we're back. Medyo nagka-problema lang po sa ating internet connection. Pero nakikisama po ang wifi ng BSU. Maraming salamat po, BSU. So nasa na tayo ngayon sa mga comment section natin. Yan, babasahin natin chocolate. Medyo nagugutom na ako puro pagkain yung mga kinakomment ninyo ngayon. So, I think medyo madami na naman tayo na kuhang comments. So, true partner. Yan, uh, we have your brief introduction about Mesoamerica and some of the well-known invention during that time. A little background about Mesoamerica. It is a region that from the central Mexico to northern Costa Rica, it has several civilizations, pero tatlo ang itatakil natin today. Yan, and these three civilizations are Aztec, Maya, and Inca. Because Mesoamerica is isolated, they develop their own and depend on themselves. When it comes to the inventions naman, there are Maya hieroglyphs, calendars, and the Dresden Codex na nakita natin sa comment section kanina. Yan, for Aztec civilization, we have manufacture of rubber and public latrines. But let's all be honest. Aside from this information, we need a refresher or new discoveries about the inventions during that time. True, kasi diba, it's very important for us, lalo na tayo mga students, na malaman yung mga tra yung transition, yung mga evidences na pinagdaanan ng technologies natin up until this day. And because of that, we prepared not only one, but many inventions and discoveries that deserves to be known. Hindi lang scientific, but to other aspects as well. Slay ka dyan, partner! Kaya, without further ado, this is the top 20 of what's more during the revolution in Mesoamerica. Top 20 of what's more during the revolution in Mesoamerica. Calendars Mesoamerican calendars are the calendrical system devised and used by the pre-Columbian cultures of Mesoamerica. Besides keeping time, Mesoamerican calendars were also used in religious observances and social rituals, such as for divination. Calendars are important to Mesoamerican civilizations because they were tied to major seasonal cycles and related to ideas around individuals and their fates. Domestication of Maize Maize was domesticated from Teosinte 
a wild grass growing the lower reaches of the Basas River Valley of Central Mexico around 9,000 years ago. There is evidence maize was first cultivated in the Maya lowlands around 6,500 years ago at about the same time that it appears along the Pacific coast of Mexico. Stone Houses the citizens during the Inca civilization created stone houses on the top of mountains that are well fitted on the mountain coast without the use of wheels or advanced equipment. Through the dry fitted mansory techniques of Caninaco Perca, the Incas shaped their stone to conceal natural outcrops, fit tight crevices, and ultimately incorporate the landscape into their infrastructure. They also use bedrock as their structural foundations. Inca civilization had three types of architecture. Civil architecture, which has 12 age stone as an example. Military architecture, which have Saksai Huaman as an example. And religious architecture, which have Korikansha as an example. The Inca buildings were erected in rectangular spaces with materials such as rocks and mud bricks. The most famous Inca architectural heritage is Machu Picchu. It is the best example of the stone houses architecture. Maya number glyphs. The Maya utilize a lot of number glyphs in their writing, both in their books and on their stone carvings. Several Maya gods and kings were named after numbers. Dates that will appear on calendars were also written using numerical symbols from the Maya. The Maya believe that the earth was created in 4 Ahau 8 Kumku, 3114 BCE. Mayan Hieroglyphic Writing the Mayan hieroglyphic system of writing was used by the Maya people of Mesoamerica until about the end of the 17th century, 200 years after the Spanish conquest of Mexico. The Mayan system of writing contains more than 800 characters, including some that are hieroglyphic and other phonetic signs representing syllables. The hieroglyphic signs are pictorial, meaning they are recognizable pictures of real objects, representing animals, people, and objects of daily life. Symbolism of Faith and Time It has been argued that among Mesoamerican societies, the concept of space and time are associated with the four cardinal compass points and linked together by the calendar. In the Mesoamerican universe, everything formed as a port of a pair, one of the most fundamental dualities was that of the macrocosmos or the life of Earth. Mesoamerican cosmovision linked to space and time in a way that provided the necessary structure to life. Mesoamerican Pyramids The idea of constructing temple pyramids appears to have taken hold early as Mesoamerican pyramids form a prominent part of ancient Mesoamerican architecture. Mesoamerican pyramids have flat tops, many with temples on the top, and stairs ascending their faces. Its insides were filled with different stories written in hieroglyphs such as the Hero Twins, the Feathered Serpent, Quetzalcoatl, Mesoamerican creation myths, ritualistic sacrifices, and many more. Chocolate. Cacao originated in the early civilization of the Olmecs and Mayans during the Mesoamerican period. One of the earliest civilizations in Latin America, the Olmecs, was the first to turn the cacao plant into chocolate. They drank an ancient chocolate drink during rituals and used it as medicine. Centuries later, the Mayans praised chocolate as the drink of the gods. During this period, cacao seeds and chocolate were considered a form of currency by the famed Mesoamerican society. Some claim that the loss of this delicacy may have played a role in the downfall of the famed civilization. 
Mesoamerican rubber balls. Ancient Mesoamericans were the first people to invent rubber balls sometime before 600 BCE. The Aztec, Olmec, and Maya of Mesoamerica are known to have made rubber using natural latex, a milky sap-like fluid found in some plants. The people back then used rubber balls in a variety of roles such as the legendary Mesoamerican ball games and as offerings for the gods. Sizable Ancient Ball Courts Games had a big role in Mayan culture. All of civilization played the ball game which was a Mayan creation. The Maya were as hooked to the game of Tlaxley or Poktapok as the English are to cricket or the Americans are to baseball, according to Galen Camp, who wrote that every city had a ball court consisting of a playing field enclosed by observation platforms where spectators could watch. Map of New World Cotton Species Cotton may possibly have been introduced to Mass America as an already domesticated form from the Southern Hemisphere where in coastal Ecuador and Peru, cultivated cotton of another species has been documented for much earlier periods. Yet, most views favor the independent domestication of Mexican cotton or Gossypium hirsutum in Mesoamerica. Hydraulic System Mesoamericans built sophisticated waterways to supply water to different communities. In the context of ancient Mesoamerica, Mayans inhabited, cultivated, and survived in rainforests that were diverse in animals, food, plants, and climate. The rainforest varied between a semi-tropical to a tropical climate that either limited rainfall due to dry weather or produce an abundance of water that could damage agricultural systems. Therefore, hydraulic systems were developed to have control over storage and water flow. Ultimately, water is important in mythologies that align with Mayan cultural beliefs. To gain social and political power and how water was controlled in dry climatic regions. Education the Aztec state provided formal education to all. Children of noble families attended the Kalmyaks, schools dedicated to the teaching of skills required for administrators. Aztecs were notable for their two calendars, invention of the canoe, superior understanding of engineering and medicine, and the Aztec temple. They could also communicate stories through poetry, weaving, sculpture, and pottery. Mika. Mayans used various tools and adapted themselves to innovations, especially in the field of arts. They built looms for weaving cloth and devised glittery paints made from a mineral called mica. Mica is any of a group of hydrous potassium, aluminum silicate minerals. It is a type of phyllosilicate exhibiting a two dimensional sheet or layer structure. Among the principal rock-forming minerals, micas are found in all three major rock varieties such as the igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. The concept of zero The Maya had the most advanced mathematical system of any prehistoric culture in the Americas and maybe even in Europe and Asia. One of the first ancient civilizations to use the idea of zero was the Maya, which enabled them to write and calculate huge numbers. Corbel Arch A corbel arch is an arch-like construction method that uses the architectural technique of corbeling to span a space or void in a structure such as an entranceway in a wall or as the span of a bridge. A corbel vault uses this technique to support the superstruction of a building's roof. When it comes to the architectural styles of construction, the corbel arches are one of the most distinctive features of the pre-Columbian Mesoamerican period. 
Kipu. Kipu or Kipus existed during the Inca civilization. Historic documents indicate that Kipus were used for record keeping and sending messages by runners throughout the empire. The color, knot placement, and type of cord are all part of the logical numerical reading of the kipu. The word kipu comes from the Quechua word for knot. A kipu usually consisted of colored spun and plied thread or strings from a llama's hair. Antispamodic Medicine Passion Flower the ancient Aztecs practiced advanced medicine using herbs and flowers to meet the wide range of medical needs necessary to care for the Aztec citizens. They used passion flower as a type of antispamodic medication that could be used to prevent muscle spasms and relax muscles, which may have been helpful in surgery. The passion flower is still used today as a herbal remedy believed to help with insomnia, epilepsy, and high blood pressure. Invention of Kunu Due to the location of the Aztec civilization, wherein they are surrounded by bodies of water, the best transportation to use is the Kunu. It is made from hollowed-out logs that are burned by fire. Kunus were used as aqueducts, that will help Aztecs to fight warfare with a consistent supply. As Aztecs did not have horses, mules, or other beasts of burden, they developed dugout canoes with which they transported themselves and their goods throughout with many canals, lakes, and waterways found in the Valley of Mexico. Teposcolula Hukunda in Mexico Southwest, there is a community called the Puscolula Hokunda. The inhabitants of the settlements were Mixtecs. When the community was first located, it did not have many artifacts, but the archaeologists discovered numerous ruins there. The excavators and researchers noticed that all the skeletons had a unique sort of dental disease. 